What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I got the last god box that I needed, I can tell I already got it too, because we actually went on ahead and picked up the Obelisk of Tormentor Prismatic God Box. You guys may be wondering, well, how did you actually get the one you wanted or whatever? Well, Jockrod.com, which is where I buy a lot of stuff and open up on my channel, the Japanese products, they were actually selling, uh, you know, the god boxes, but also had an option where you could choose which one you wanted. Because normally it's random. As you guys know, I've opened up several of them. I think I've gotten, like, three of the Winged Dragon of Raw and one Slifer. And I wanted Obelisk because I, I want the complete set, obviously. Well, of course, I saw that they had Obelisk, so I just went on ahead and bought it. I believe everything else is still sealed like normal. It's just that you know which god card you're getting. That way if you're missing one like I was, you can get the last one. So that's why I thought it'd be cool just to go on ahead and pick this up. I wanted to be 100% sure. I probably still need get more of these boxes anyway because I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and open this up, see what Obelisk looks like. I'm going to get us plastic too so you guys can see the little boxes in a little bit better. Because they put like this on it too to protect it. And uh, I'll get rid of some glare if I take this off of here. So here's our Obelisk the Tormentor. Looks awesome. I, I love these boxes, seriously. So it's the same thing, basically. It's just blue for Obelisk. has Obelisk on the top of it, as you saw. And yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. Again, these are just cardboard, but they have like a foiling on them, and uh, they seem pretty substantial. Like, actually a good product to store your cards in. Like, I feel like they'll be pretty protected in that. So that's awesome. Still wish we just get this in English, right? Anyone else still want to complain about that? <laughs> that still annoys me to no end. Just bring it over to us. I don't even care if it's in English. I don't, you know, whatever. <laughs> if we even have to gamble on that or whatever, have to make that happen. But anyway, we of course have our Prismatic God card, Obelisk of Tormentor, the last one I needed. I I'm probably going to keep them in this plastic for now. I'm going to sleeve them up here in a little bit. But yeah, it looks amazing. You know what? I'm going to open it anyway. Why not do it on camera? I'm going to try to have a set of the god cards that are sealed, and then a set that aren't. I know, I still only have these really lousy orange sleeves, but <laughs> that are next to me. I need to put some, like, clear ones or something. But I, I got to sleeve this card up. It looks amazing. I mean, it's prismatic rare, and it's obelisk. Obelisk is my favorite god card, too, so it's kind of funny. This was the one that was hardest for me to get. So, that looks awesome. Then you have your packs, so you guys can tell. That's the only thing that's really, I guess, random, too, about this box. And then, yeah, you get, like, your little things to put... The obelisk in like the acrylic case that goes in between. You get your sleeves. These are the same as the other ones. But then, of course, you get blue sleeves to go with obelisk. So, again, it looks awesome. I'm never going to use these, though. That's the bad part. They look so cool. And then, of course, the acrylic case. Uh, seriously, it's really easy to put this together. It's like four screws. You put the card in between. Sandwich it. There you go. I mean, uh, I'll do it off camera because it's, you know, kind of tedious. It's not that good for a video. <laughs> but if you're wondering on how to do it, there's even instructions in the box. I threw those away. But, I mean... It's literally just sandwich it and you're good. So don't worry about it. And yeah, let's get with our packs and see what ultimate rare we get. I think we're at least guaranteed one. That's the way it's been with the others. I hope we at least get a different one. I had pretty good luck at least getting different cards. And I love this Millennium Rare. So yeah, we have the Relinquish Fusion. Then, of course, Silent Swordsman. Look at the hieroglyphics, too. I again, I love this rarity. I want this in English so bad. Obliterate. Then we have a Fiend Sanctuary, and then... Oh, we actually got the Slifer card. Okay. <laughs> and like some of the other boxes with Ultimate first, so I was kind of expecting that. Uh, this one is uh, Thunder Force. That's its name. That is really cool looking. Of course, it's a God card. Like, it's a God card support card. That seems like a weird sentence, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Also, if you guys are enjoying, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. It helps out tremendously. Click the bell if you actually want to be subscribed, and even leave a comment, because all that stuff helps with the YouTube algorithm, I know. I hate being this guy, but uh, if you don't do all that, or don't say all that and being a YouTuber, you won't be a YouTuber for long. So, there you go. <laughs> okay? And also check out Jockrod, that is going to be in the description, I don't know if I said at the beginning. Toon Dark Magician Girl, Gandora. I think, yeah, that's the one we still don't have in English. Then, of course, uh, Monster Reborn. Um, was that Mel what was it? Golden Idol, I think is his name, actually. Yeah, he's one of the new cards. And here's the Obelisk card. I don't think I have this one yet, either. So, that works. Makes sense, too. Um, let's see. My phone's going off, too, at the same time. It is Fist of Fate is the name. So, there. I actually silenced my phone like a professional. But, there we go. That looks really sick. I think it, like, makes Obelisk effect a little bit more, like, in the anime. A little scarier, more God card-like. So... Next up. 
I do wish there was more prismatics in this set. Like, give me, I don't know, just everything in prismatic. <laughs> So yeah, I think this is Silent Slash, Silent Swordsman card. Help a Whammer, then two Table of Contents. Um, it's one of the Trap Hole cards, I still don't know which one. And then, oh, it's our Ultimate Rare. Come on, Blue Eyes or Dark Magician? And, we got Dark Magician! Oh man, <laughs> well there we go, that is awesome! Um, I can't remember, is it, I think Dark Magician's the one you're supposed to get from Obelisk, or that's the one you have the most chance, because I know... Certain god card boxes you get, you have a better chance of getting certain ultimate rares. Like, for example, Wing Dragon Raw, you can get a Blue Eyes Ultimate, from what I've heard. And I think Wing Dragon Raw Sphere Mode is on another ultimate rare that you can get from that one. So it was actually lucky I got Raw every time because that was the main one everyone wanted because of Blue Eyes Ultimate. <laughs> but I also wanted this Dark Magician, and there's also a Blue Eyes out there too. So that is so sick looking. I think Dark Magician came, is supposed to be like in the Obelisk boxes normally, so I, I think that means I did really good. I, either way, I'm happy I got Dark Magician. And I actually really like this artwork too. My favorite's always the original, but I really like the tablet artwork too. And of course, I like the Ar Arcana version. Let me, I know, I'm going to switch out these sleeves after this video. I'm getting my crappy orange sleeves. I mean, they're good sleeves, it just, that orange does not look good with, <laughs> with any card, you know? There we go. Okay. Again, it just, it just ignore the terrible orange. <laughs> I'm going to get some clear ones to put next to me. I have like a mix of like just sleeves over next to me. And I don't even know if they're all Yu-Gi-Oh sized. But I'm happy. I got my Obelisk and I got Dark Magician. All I really want is Blue Eyes from this set, the uh, Ultimate Rare. And I'm good. Regular Blue Eyes. I already got Ultimate. See, Curse of Dragon, the, the second Curse of Dragon, basically, when it was redone. Symbol of Friendship. Tune uh, Blue Eyes, then uh, the uh, Relinquished Fusion. I can't think of its name right now. And another God card for us. Another God card support. Um, this one is uh, Exchanging Souls. That's what it is. That looks really cool, too. Again, it has Obelisk on it, so I'm a fan. And last pack. Okay, what are we going to end with? Again, I got one of the best Ultimate Rares, so I'm happy, and I got my Obelisk, so let's just see. Hopefully just something different. I don't know if we... I've gotten all the Ultra Rares yet or not out, out after all the ones I've opened up. Because I might try to get the complete set. Let's see, Exchange Souls, I believe. Relinquish. Don't remember that card's name off the top of my head. Then we also have like the new Zolga or whatever. That's another one of the actual newer cards. And. Oh, another one with the, one the God cards on. This is Slifer one. I don't know if I have this one yet, actually. Um, this is the Absolute Divine Beast. So yeah, we got like all the God card uh, Millennium Ultra Rares. That is awesome. I, I really like these new support. I do think we'll get them like in a Legendary Collection or or something uh, in English this year. So I, I hope so, because they, they look like a lot of fun. But yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm definitely glad I got this. I mean, Dark Magician Ultimate Rare and Obelisk. That, like I said, my favorite God card. Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I think they still had some of these in stock. Check out uh, Jockrod if you haven't already. Uh, I still recommend get one of these boxes before it gets too late. Because if you're interested in any of this, they're just like the Prismatic God card is basically the price of the box. Like I've seen these sell for like 100 bucks or close to it on eBay. So I'm just saying, if you want to pick one up, now's the time. As always, thank you guys for watching though. Stay safe out there. Hopefully this year will be pretty dang good. I mean, this is a good start to it for sure. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.